Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 250 of our Grave Tour of the Film series. In this episode, we return to Libingan ng mga bayan in Taguig in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen, and businessmen in third in this part of Metro Manila. Um, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a soldier and politician, and best remembered as chairman of MMDA. Located at the southern side of the tomb of unknown soldiers, we found the final resting place of General Danny Lim. Danilo de la Puzlim was born on the 2nd of June 1955 in the town of Solano in Nueva Vizcaya. He was a soldier and politician and best remembered as the chairman of MMDA. Lim's father, Lim Heya, was a Chinese immigrant from Xiamen and his mother, Catalina de la Puz, was originated from Bohol. Lim completed elementary and high school education in his hometown in Solano. He was admitted and was enrolled at UP College of Mechanical Engineering in 1972. In 1973, Lim was admitted in PMA for a military career after tapping its entrance examination. As one of the top PMA cadets, Lim took and passed the qualifying exam for West Point where he graduated in 1978. After graduation, Lim returned to the Philippines and was assigned to Holo to fight against MNLF rebels. He later took Scout Ranger course and topped his class. In the early 1980s, Lim was recruited and was part of Reform the Armed Forces Movement or RAM and was involved in the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution that was resulted to subsequent removal of President Marcos from power and the restoration of democracy. However, in December 1989, Lim, Gringo Nasan, and other members of RAM were involved in a failed coup attempt against Cory Aquino government, particularly the siege of Makati. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening, it's already Wednesday morning in the Philippines and for rebel soldiers trying to overthrow President Aquino still have the upper hand in the heart of Manila's financial district, which is called Makati. At one point, Philippine Marines seemed poised for an all-out assault on the rebels. But side, we found well-armed, confident, even relaxed scout rangers, among the most elite soldiers in the Philippine Army. Their commanding officer told us they are prepared to fight on until President Aquino resigns, not being held hostage. We never held uh, anybody here. He was uh, free to go in and out of our uh, controlled area. I was already in, in the Intercon Hotel in Makati. Although in 1996, then President Fidel Ramos granted amnesty to members of Ram and rebel groups that participated in the December 1989 coup, including Lim. In November 2007, Lim once again involved in a call for ouster of President Gloria Arroyo together with Antonio Trillanes, Nicanor Feldon, and other Magdala officials as they walk out from their trial in Makati and march to Manila Peninsula Hotel, who were later joined by then-appointed Vice President Chofisto Gingona.
Nobyembre 29, 2007, habang dumadalo sa hearing, nag-walk out sa Makati Regional Trial Court si Senador Trillanes, Kasakir General Danilo Lim. Kasama ang ilang miyembro ng Magdalo, sinamahan din sila ni dating Vice President Teofisto Gingona. Nagkuta ang grupo sa Manila Peninsula Hotel at muling hiniling ang pagbaba sa pwesto ni Pangulong Arroyo. Nilusob ng puwersa ng pamahalaan ang Manila Peninsula, Inareso Cetrillanes, Lim at Gingona. Although in October 2010, then-President Noynoy Aquino signed a proclamation granting amnesty to Lim, Trillanes and other soldiers involved in Oakwood Mutiny of 2003, Marine Standoff in 2006, and the Manila Peninsula Incident of 2007. Noong 2010, ginawaran ng amnestia ni Pangulong Noynoy Aquino sa visa ng Proclamation 75, Trillanes, at iba pang mga sundalong sangkot sa Oakwood Mutiny, Marine Standoff at Manila Pen Siege. In 2010 election, Lim ran under Liberal Party as part of Aquino Rojas' senatorial slate. Lim didn't make it to the Magic 12 but landed 17th place with 7.3 million votes. In the 2010 elections, Lim ran for the Senate of the Liberal Party, but he failed to replicate the success of Trillanes in 2007. In September 2011, Lim was appointed in Bureau of Custom by President Noynoy Aquino as Deputy Commissioner for Intelligence, which he served for almost two years until July of 2013. In May 2017, Lim was appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as Chairman of MMDA replacing Tomas Orbos. Lim died on the 6th of January 2021 because of cardiac arrest One week after he was tested positive of COVID-19 virus, he was 65. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and Libingan ng mga bayani interview. Later in this channel, we will also post more grave tour videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next grave tour of the famous episodes.